Yeah, I'm really excited. Thanks for having me. Um, as a pretty cool walking through, uh, obviously such an iconic English stadium. Um, came about, uh, good question at the start of the year. Um, really excited. Obviously, 2022 wasn't a, the best year for me. I had a blood clot in my lungs, um, which kind of stopped me playing a lot of cricket through that. So I was really excited for 2023. Um, Pre-season went really well and everything. And just as the season progressed, I noticed that um, I wasn't kind of playing as much, just wasn't selected and things weren't quite going um, the way I envisaged them at the start of the year. Uh, and at this point in my career, I've spoken to a lot of guys, um, family, friends, guys who played cricket before, guys at Sussex and whatnot. Um, and it kind of, the question kind of came up, have you thought about moving? And the answer was no straight away. I hadn't uh, born and bred in Sussex and grew up dreaming to play for Sussex. Um, but then the more I thought about it, the more I spoke to people, it seemed like a really good time to move, a really exciting opportunity. So I put a few feelers out. Uh, Sussex were uh, nice enough to let me go and speak to teams. Um, and yeah, I, I've known Robbo for a very long time. Uh, Warwickshire was always a club that interested me. It's a very big club with a lot of success behind it, a lot of history. And so came up, spoke to Robbo, things seemed to click, spoke to Gavin a fair bit. Um, and that kind of led to, to this where I'm really excited to be here. Therefore, as a lifelong Sussex fan and player, with the club in your blood, how different would it feel to wear that bear? Yeah, I, I think it'd be a little bit different to start with. Um but I mean, the way cricket is now with franchise uh, cricket being so so apparent and and having had the opportunity to play for other teams around the world, um, I guess it's not so different as it used to be to put on someone else's shirt and play for them. Um, so I'm really excited. Uh, as I said, it's a stage in my career where I think it's a really good move, a really exciting move, and hopefully a move that progresses me through. Within that franchise world, you've got an incredible CV. IPL, Big Bash, and England cap. Would you say your best years are ahead of you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I feel like I really haven't quite filled my potential yet. Uh, I've showed glimpses here and there. 2021 season was probably my best season so far. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely feel like the the best I've got is still to give. Um, and I'm really excited to have a fresh move with new coaches, new faces, and just to be able to express myself and hopefully win a lot of games for the Bears. So what will the Bears fans and members get from you? 100% uh, commitment, uh, lots of passion. Uh, and I just try and win games for, for the team I'm playing for um, a lot of commitment um, and yeah just 100% really You're wearing the Bears shirt now and we know there's an option to play Red Bull cricket but how determined and excited are you to get into that side? Yeah absolutely and it's something that I've spoken very openly with uh, Robbo and Gavin is that uh, with the move I really wanted just to fall back in love with cricket and really enjoy playing again and I saw that the quickest route to that was to kind of narrow my focus on one format to start with, but definitely the door's still open for all three formats. Um, I've really got an itch to scratch with Red Bull cricket. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm really excited to hopefully push for all three. And as a left arm pace bowler, you're always going to be in demand, so I'm sure they'll want that availability. Yeah, I, I, I'm very fortunate. I guess it's lucky that you're born and you can bowl left arm seam and, and bat and field. Um, I've obviously worked incredibly hard on it, but... I guess I'm I'm grateful for a coach to chuck the ball in my left hand and say, why don't you bowl left arm seam? Because it is a commodity that teams are after and teams are looking for. Yeah, well, Robbo called you an all-rounder and praised your fielding ability. So is that something you take great pride in? Yeah, absolutely. I've always loved fielding. Um, I've, it's always been the most enjoyable part. I think it's strange. I've always said it's a bit strange that I've always enjoyed fielding as much as I do. Um, but as the game's progressed, you've seen it's a more and more important part of the game. Um, I think it can go un unnoticed sometimes when people do bits of fielding and catches and whatnot that it really does change the change the game uh, and impact the game. And yeah, by batting, I've progressed a lot with, um, put a lot of emphasis over the last few years and through COVID to really get better at batting and give the team more options with my skill sets. 